All right, so this video uh, is about finding this, using scale factor to find the area and the perimeter of a figure. So we're gonna start with this figure right here and we're gonna be given um, a side, we're gonna be given some side lengths first. We're gonna be given a side length of three and a side length of nine. And um, I wanna show how this is my original. I wanna find the area and the perimeter of this figure if my original was three by nine. So here my scale factor is one third. Remember, the word factor, the word factor means I'm going to be multiplying. So I'm going to multiply both of my side lengths by the scale factor. So that means I'm going to be looking at one third of three. Well, one third of three is one. Um, we've, we talked about at the beginning of the year that if I take a third of the number, I'm just taking the number and dividing by three. Really, what I'm doing is I'm taking one third times three over one. So if you need to write out the fractions that you're multiplying, then do that. So one times three is three, three times one is three, so three times three is, or three thirds is one. So in my new figure, um, sorry, in my new figure, my side length is going to be one, and then I have to do the nine as well, so one third times nine, so a third of nine is three. You could have done it one over three times nine over one, which one times nine is nine and three times one is three. And so nine divided by three is three. So if you're good at finding a third of a number, great. If you need to go ahead and multiply the fractions to make it work better, then that's fine as well. So the, the new rectangle then is one by three. And so if I'm asked to find the area or the perimeter, the best way to do it is to draw and make the new rectangle first. Okay, so draw and make the new rectangle first, and then you're gonna look for area. Your area is just length times width. So in this case, my area is three times one. So three times one is three, and my area of my new figure is three. My perimeter, on the other hand, is where I have to add up all the sides. Um, so I'm going to add three plus three, because I have to remember this side is three, and then this side over here is also three. And then one and one. So three plus three plus one plus one. And I end up with six, seven, eight. So my perimeter is eight. So my area is three and my perimeter is eight. And um, so I kind of have a little set of steps right here. And this is this was when we were talking about area, but this works for our perimeter as well. Um, if you're finding the area or the perimeter. Um, you first change the side lengths using the scale factor, meaning you multiply both sides or the side lengths by the scale factor. Whatever it is, you're going to multiply by the scale factor. And then you're going to find the area or the perimeter, depending on what, what it's asking for. Also, through a couple of, um, of the, the um, formulas for parallelograms, and talked about base and height of a parallelogram, the difference about a parallelogram is you need a height that's either that's at a right angle because this side length right here won't help you find the area of the parallelogram. It, sometimes the, the height is on the inside. Occasionally you'll see the height on the outside like this. So this would be the height of the parallelogram. But it's just height, base times height. You're just multiplying the base times the height. And then in a triangle, it's one half base times height. So you can do the base times height divided by two like this, or you can do one half base times height. Um, so we're gonna do one more real quick. My scale factor is three. So um, if my original is five and four, okay, so this is my original triangle, it's five and four, then my new triangle um, is going to be an enlargement because my scale factor is big. So I'm gonna make this bigger and I'm gonna multiply both of these side lengths by three. So five times three is 15 and four times three is 12. So I get a 12 by 15 triangle. Um, in this case, I can't find the perimeter because I don't know this length over here. Um, so I'm just gonna look for the area. So the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So these two side lengths actually meet at a right angle. And so since they meet at a right angle, the 12 and the 15 are my base and my height. So I'm gonna say area equals one half times 12 times 15. Now, 
You could multiply 12 times 15 first and then divide it by two. Um, but I don't know 12 times 15 off the top of my head. But I do know what half of 12 is. Half of 12 is six. So six times 15 um, is what I'm actually gonna have to multiply. Well, I know four 15s is 60, and I know two 15s is 30 because of a clock in 15 minute sections. So 60 and 30 is 90. So six times 15 is 90. So the area of this larger is 90. Um, and if I look at it, this would have been five times four, which would have been 20 and half of 20 would be 10. So this would have been 10 as my um, area. A, a lot of people think that then if, if the first area was 10, the second area would be 90, I mean, would be 30, but you have to think about that you're multiplying the, the base and the height both by three. So you're not multiplying the total by three, you're multiplying, you're multiplying one by three and the other by three. So you're multiplying by three twice and three times three is nine. So it's not 10 times three, it's 10 times nine. Um, and that's why the, the areas are so different. It doesn't just work like perimeter. It's not just like doubling the missing side. Hope that helps.